Hey, what's up everybody? Today, coming in late again, but got an unboxing video for a whole bunch of super cool race car parts. Let's get started. Ugh. Can't see it, but it's a big old Speed Factory racing box. Trust me. So if you've been watching the channel, you should know what this is. It's the Speed Factory dual backdoor tucked intercooler radiator combo. You can't see this, but I'm using the tippy tip of this screwdriver. I'm not gonna scratch this new radiator. But I'm literally doing the whole unboxing. Chair and tape even. Ouch! And those staples that I didn't know were there. Tear those too. Okay. Nice. Got my two low pro radiator fans. Now I've already wired two Flexalite fans. Um, into my car and then taking one of them out what i did was i kind of jumped i used the condenser fan relay and sort of routed the wires so when the radiator fan kicks on the condenser relay energizes and kicks that fan on too so i don't have a problem running two radiator fans uh, it should be easy to redo that oh my goodness Wow. Alright, this is coming out all in one piece. Oh, look at this. Look at this beast. Is it upside down? <laughs> no. Alright, I got a bonus here. One more thing. I didn't tell anyone about this. Box looks like, I got, looks like it got stepped on. That's okay. So this is definitely going on the Civic, the race car. It's not for a Civic, it's not from a Civic. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's Miata parts, MX-5, if you're nasty, but, ooh, and I am, look at that. A little air extractor for the fender. Uh, you know, Miatas aren't Civics, Civics aren't Miatas, everyone knows that, but they have really similar things like wheel sizes, so therefore the wheel arch is similar. And I'm no pioneer in this situation. I've seen these air extractors on other Civics before. Um, maybe one other Civic. Uh, so it can work. It will work. It'll happen. All right, let me move the camera. Check this camera angle out. Woo! Hitting it hard. So, of course, you know. We can't see anything on my car because it's flat black. It's like Vanta black. It's like, it just sucks light out of the atmosphere. So, I mean, we can see. <laughs> when I put it up against the car, it just disappears. <laughs> but, you know, it'll go somewhere like that. Uh, it doesn't perfectly follow the curve, but um, what it'll be doing is sort of work with this. Um, standoff or whatever you want to call it the, the the fender vent which you cannot see at all from that angle but it's just going to help pull air out of the front fenders a spinning wheel generates a lot of turbulence um you know saying a spaceship but i still expect to be going fast enough eventually that that turbulence uh that turbulence in the fenders creates lift and nobody wants lift 
Ain't nobody got time for that. So these will help work with the other body work and uh, alleviate that issue. So let's check out the intercooler. So obviously I didn't do any of the work I was supposed to do, uh, hoping to do. Um, bumper still on, radiator still on, coolant system still full of the water and water wetter mixture. So first of all, as far as the uh, intercooler goes, this thing is overkill. It's uh, six to eight hundred horsepower intercooler. Uh, turns out I'm gonna probably be closer to like four hundred, but it's what we got. It's it's the best package solution, um, and I don't think it's gonna be a, a problem, right? It's just gonna cool cool really efficiently. Um, it has three inch inlet and outlet, and my turbo is two and a half. So there'll be reducers, adapters, maybe the turbo get upgraded, or I don't exactly know how we're going to deal with that. And of course, it's got the Dash 16 hose fittings on it, which are going away for some Dash 20s. Um, I find it interesting that different companies make different sizes. Like, the AN fittings are all supposed to be universal, and like, they all work with each other, and everything works with everything, but this AN fitting is at least a quarter inch larger in diameter than the other Dash 16 that like Speed Factory uses. So that's confusing, but um, the Dash 16 is a restriction, so we're gonna get rid of it. But uh, I can tell whoever welds these is a certified dime stacker. Everything looks, the color is all perfectly even. Um, I can tell, um, like that, that weld is, is really uniform. Um, so I'm super soaked, super stoked, super happy. Um, I'm glad Speed Factory is around doing this stuff, making these parts for us um, so, so we can have fun. But yeah, I, uh, I'm kind of dressed up right now because I just went and did a job interview. So maybe some news will be coming on that soon, but I definitely need to um, get changed and Maybe start taking some stuff apart, right? Maybe start hanging this thing somewhere. That's probably too ambitious. I'll start taking stuff apart and then I'll let you guys know how it goes. But I uh, just want to do a quick unboxing, maybe a long unboxing, and show off the new hardware and all the little gizmos and gadgets that came with it. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Stick around.